the derivative is the slope of a tangent line. That's actually an interesting little dichotomy because we define the derivative in terms of functions. I mean to say when we first defined the derivative, it was as this limit and you see function notation here. So we take the derivatives of functions. Now, probably for most of you, the first time you ever heard the phrase tangent line was in high school geometry. When we talk about taking tangent lines of circles. So if this is a tangent line, its slope should be a derivative. At least that's how it may seem, but this circle isn't a function. So if this is our definition of the derivative, there's nothing here that we can differentiate. The slope of this tangent line can't be the derivative of anything. Let's clear that little problem up. An equation is said to be implicit if you can't rewrite it as y equals f of x. So for example, keeping with the idea of a circle, x squared plus y squared equals 4. This is an example of an implicit function because you cannot get y by itself on the left-hand side of the equality. You could get y squared by itself, but to get y by itself, y would be plus or minus the square root of this expression. And this is not a function. However, function or not, if we have an implicit relationship between X and Y, something like this, we can find dy dx. And I'll tell you the trick. It's to pretend that y is a function of x, even though it isn't. I'll defer doing examples until the next video. So for the moment, this may be a little unclear, but let's try to understand the rationale behind this. Suppose we have a function, or rather not a function, Suppose we have the graph of an implicit equation like this. This is not a function, 
Suppose that we want to talk about the line tangent to this curve at a point. Well, I'm going to take this Shadron State College coaster, and I am going to cover up part of this graph. With what remains with this little curve here, you can still talk about the tangent line. So covering up the rest of the curve doesn't get rid of the tangent line. And the bit of the curve that remains now passes the vertical line test. It's a function. So we can talk about taking the derivative of this function, you know, using our definition. The fact that this definition has function notation in it isn't a problem because I've covered up the parts of this graph that stopped it from being a function. That's our rationale, but you probably need to see some examples of this to really get it. We'll do some examples in the next video and the next set of notes.